Hey fellas, Luke here. Um, I'm just at the North Melbourne Tape and I've got my milk. I'm here with Aaron Powther. We have to do some modifications to it as we expected. Um, this slot in the Z column is all on the piss. So we're just milling it now on this big Bridgeport mill to get it all nice and square and take all of these disparities off so that the, um, the Z uh, ball nut uh, mounting plate will run smoothly without snagging on anything. There's also a few other modifications we're going to have to do, so I'll try and document it along the way, but this is where we're starting for now, so I'll report back later. Okay, so uh, that footage that you've just seen is uh, of myself and, and my friend Aaron um, over the past two days doing this modification to the mill itself to receive the CNC fusion kit. Um, it wasn't actually all that much involved, surprisingly. I thought there would have been a lot more. Basically, we I'll start with each axis, I guess. Um, the Y axis. We just had to mill like a different spigot on the um, the ball nut mounting bracket. This mounts a lot different to the GO704 mills. The bolt actually goes through one of the dovetails, which is kind of crappy, um, but it shouldn't really affect it at all. Uh, the X axis was probably the most time consuming to to get going. Uh, I did have to take a couple of mil off underneath the bed. This mill has a lot more room underneath there um, versus the Grizzly ones. I'll actually show you the little bracket that we sort of made for the nut in there. Wipe down. So we just sort of took a pocket out of the uh, Y axis there and a little bracket to hold on to it. Um, so there's, there's still quite a bit of room under there. But it looks quite good, I reckon. Um, the Z axis also required some modification. And that was basically the same as the Y. We just had to mill like a new spigot onto the uh, ball nut mounting bracket. So yeah, so far so good. I've just taken the cover off where the drive motor is. The motor looks different. Um, so well, I've just mounted one step motor on there and it all looks really good so I'm excited you know hopefully I'll make a bit more progress than the next week and you know fingers crossed we'll be making some chips so exciting times ahead um, sorry for the sort of lack of footage between um, while I was doing the modification it was kind of hard to fit in the time to take pictures and uh, video because I was quite busy just wanted to get it done so yeah, uh, but happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, yeah, I'm stoked. So stay tuned for more. Yeah. <laughs>